Hello everyone. Today I'll be discussing a clinical pearl that I heard in the American Academy of Dermatology a few years ago. I have used it frequently in practice and find it particularly helpful when I'm pressed for time in an overbooked clinic. It's based on this excellent article by Ribeiro et al, which was published in the BJD in 2016 and looks at how we can rapidly count the moles on the entire body by just using one site as a proxy measure. So why is it important? We all know that the incidence of melanoma is increasing worldwide. Total body nevus count is one of the most important risk factors for melanoma and has a much higher relative risk than environmental exposure. Remember that melanoma risk increases by about two to four percent per additional nevus counted on the body. A noteworthy point, however, is that only 20 to 40 percent of melanoma arises from pre-existing nevi. Nevi are therefore a marker of risk and not necessarily a precursor lesion for a melanoma. So what happens to our moles as we get older? Nevi typically involute after the fourth decade of life in Caucasian populations and are fairly rare in elderly. However, in individuals with a susceptibility to melanoma, they often have large numbers of common and atypical nevi, which persist until middle age or later. In clinical practice, nevus count is therefore a very important marker of increased melanoma risk. However, total body skin examinations with mole checks are rarely performed in general practice and sometimes even in dermatology clinics due to shortage of time. The main aim of this study was to assess the predictive value of nevus count on 17 different body sites in estimating total body nevus counts in a large cohort of healthy UK Caucasian female subjects. A total of 3,694 twin females were included. The results were striking. Total body nevus count showed a steady decline after the age of 30 and the p-value was very powerful. They decrease in incidence by about four nevi a decade. The most predictive sites for the total nevus counts were the arms and the legs, with the right arm showing the most significant correlation. Women with more than seven nevi on the right arm were likely to have at least 50 moles on their body, and those with 11 nevi on the right arm were shown to have nine times more likely than normal to have 100 nevi or more on their body. Counting the nevi on the whole body is a time-consuming procedure and it's impractical. The arms are the accessible area and can be even done in a busy clinic. The advantage of using adopting just one site on a selected area is that it can be used as a proxy measure for total nevus count. This in turn is a rough guide for melanoma risk. So the 7-Eleven sign may be a useful clinical tool. For those who are not aware, 7-Eleven is a chain of superstores in mainland Europe and in America. So it's an easy way of remembering this clinical pearl. So what are the possible limitations? One was the sex restriction. Only females were included in this study. Variations have been documented in nevus counts in body distribution of nevi between males and females. However, such a limitation was compensated by a validation study conducted on a separate sample. Secondly, only Caucasians were included in this study. So yet another example of exclusions of subjects with skin of color. At least, at least in this research, we can excuse it as the risk of melanoma in darker skin does seem to be reassuringly low. Nevus count should not be considered alone, but rather as a part of a more holistic approach. The lifetime risk of melanoma include these seven factors listed below. They are the number of nevi, the presence of large nevi, a previous history of sunburns, presence of freckles, hair color, skin type, and the family history of melanoma. Interestingly, the number of nevi was confirmed as the strongest predictive factor. Note that all these factors are purely clinical and do not require any laboratory tests. So tools of this kind should be further developed to improve both self-assessment and screening. 
promoting nevus count on limited body areas may increase participation and compliance and therefore it translates into more efficient early melanoma detection and in the end hopefully decreased melanoma mortality which is what all of us want so next time you go to the superstore remember the sign when you shop it could save your life thank you